parents and students. Thank you for joining to the TEDx Teens Awareness Session. I'm Mudara Bandar Nayaka, and with me here is Arshad Hami. So before I start, uh, just want to make clear that this event uh, is all about TEDx Teens. So there is another segment uh, for TEDx Adults category. So Vajira from our team will uh, share the link for TEDx Adults category registrations. So if anyone is interested on in, uh, TEDx Adults category, please uh, refer to that link and register. Uh, if you want to know about the TEDx Teen session, you can stay as well. Uh, this particular session is actually uh, dedicated for the TEDx Teens. Okay, so as I said, uh, okay, so as I said, this webinar session is conducted uh, with an objective to provide the awareness related to the TADHAC Teens event, which will take place on 15th October 2022. Our ultimate goal is to guide our young minds to bring innovative ideas alive, which will open up new pathways for a brighter future. So here's a glimpse to TADHAC. Uh, these are some of the pictures we have taken from our past events. Right. So communication arena in today's world is evolving rapidly, as we all know. Especially with the pandemic, we have realized that the communication plays a major role in our day-to-day -day activities. So here we are with this competition to explore new mediums for effective and efficient communication. Now, when it comes to communication, it could be person to person, such as we communicating right now through Zoom, or it could be communication in between person to machine, which is relatively a new concept. For example, consider a smart home system where the AC or the lighting system can be controlled by your mobile phone. So be it online education, e-channeling, online banking, or online ordering, communication is everywhere. So then we'll come to TADHAC Global. So what is this TADHAC Global? You might be wondering. So it is a competition happening for the eighth time in more than 20 countries, where the tech minds get together to discuss new ideas and seek ways to improve current contexts and usage of communication. So it could be a solution to an existing problem, enhancement to a currently existing process, or an entirely new idea. Uh, TAD in TADHAC stands for Telecommunication Application Development, and HACK is the shortened term for a hackathon. So goal of a hackathon is to create a functioning solution within a shorter period of time. And that is exactly what we will be doing with TADHAC Sri Lanka 2022. So as I said before, TADHAC Sri Lanka 2022 is happening on 15th October, simultaneously with TADHAC Global, aiming at two segments. TADHAC for university and business category. This is what I referred to as the adult, adult category. And then TADHAC teens for the school category. So our aim is to uh, have the final presentations on 8th October, 2022 for TADHAC teens category. And the winners will be announced on 15th October along with the TADHAC uh, adults category. So TADHAC teens provides opportunity for the school children who are 19 years and below to immerse themselves in a global hackathon experience. So it is actually our duty to strengthen our next generation to accept and evolve with the new changes. With that, I will hand over the session to Arshad. Arshad will explain how students can register and continue with the TADHAC Teens 2022 journey. Arshad, over to you. Yeah. Thank you, Mudara. So participating in uh, TADHAC teens will be an opportunity for school children to measure their standings in different areas like technology, personality, and even problem solving. They will also get a chance to work with peers and to come up with a solution which can inspire others. In the industry perspective, they will be able to get hands-on experience on the technologies and will be able to gain insights into best practices and approaches from the industry experts. Apart from all of that, it is a global competition they are participating in, so which will lead them to discover new paths to win the world with technology. Moving on. So uh, now you must be wondering 
how you can join to this particular competition. So now you already know what TEDHack is, and let's take a look at how we can join to this competition. First, you have to visit TEDHack Sri Lanka website as you are seeing on the screen right now. On the top right corner, you can see a TEDHack Teams button. You have to click onto it and then you will land on TEDHack Sri Lanka page. Um, can you see the screen already? Can you confirm if uh, you can see the screen right now? Mudara? I hope uh, the audience can see. Uh, the registration page, is it? Uh, no, yeah. uh, okay, let me. Yeah, just try again. It's visible now, right, Asha? Um, I don't see it. Can someone from the audience confirm if uh, the registration page is visible? Udara, we can see the slide deck only, but uh, since we have yeah. already ah, okay. shared the uh, link, I think everyone can. Uh, okay, yeah, that's it. fine. Rajira. Yeah, that's right. So that's on the top right corner, you can see the TEDHack team button and you have to click onto it. Then you will land on TEDHack Sri Lanka page. So right now you're viewing the registration page, right? You can scroll down the page and find TEDHack team's event. Specific information is visible there. And for the registration, you have to click on the register button. And it is only then that you can view the form, which you're seeing right now. So for this event, a student can participate uh, either as an individual participant or as a team with five members. Once all the mandatory details have been submitted, you can click on submit to confirm registration. And then let's see the rules of this event. This event has mandated four rules for the participants. So as I said a while ago, either an individual or a team of five members can participate. Next, teams have to use at least one telco service for this software. We have organized a series of tutorial webinars for students for them to learn how to code and develop a software. You can register to this uh, series of webinars through our website. So as the next rule, the final software needs to be a unique idea and it should be a fully or partially working software. And we have a rule for the age limit as well. All the students must be 19 years or below as at December 2022. Let's take a look at the supporting tips. So in addition to that, let me give some of the tips for the teachers and parents who are here with us today. For this event, no coding knowledge is needed. We will be conducting online coding sessions during three weekends. For that, only a personal computer or laptop is required to participate. And it's also better to have a mobile phone to complete the registration. And when it comes to implementation, it's better to start off early. Then the teams will have more time to develop, right? Next, the participants will have to present their solution and demonstrate it to the panel of judges on the 8th of October. Further, there will be a series of webinars and coding sessions to provide knowledge and to guide students throughout this journey. Everything will be communicated to the registered email of the participant. And next, let me walk you through the event timeline. So as you can see, the registration will be closed on 16th of September. A project proposal template will be provided upon registration. The participant has to include the project idea into that template and submit back by the 20th of September. Then the selected project ideas will be informed on the 27th of September. Uh, then moving on from 28th of September to 7th of October, industry experts will conduct one-to-one -one mentoring sessions on design and development of the software. This will happen online and we will send more information on how to join and the next procedures to the students through email. Next, the participants will have to present their solution and demonstrate it to the panel of judges on the 8th of October. Finally, the finale will be on the 15th of October where the winners will be announced. 
with that i'm concluding our pre presentation and now the ground is open for questions So anyone uh, having questions, you can ask at this moment regarding the uh, the event and also the uh, the steps uh, which we are taking. Hello. Yes. Yes, Charmaine. Hi. Yeah, I'm sorry. I I, I missed the but, um, uh, the beginning the of beginning. the meeting. Yeah, okay. will you be sending the recording uh, to the email? Yes. Then I can yes, get to know because I. Okay, that's sure, fine. Sure. I will send you the, the recording. Yeah. No, that's fine. Thank you.